Alright, here we are back with the cell. I uh, was doing this on my phone and I had, my wife just called me and it kind of interrupted the video, so I guess this is going to be uh, stripping the sulfuric cell part two. So we can see that uh, there are about four minutes. Uh, we're down to just about zero amps, so there's not much left going on. There's a little bit of bubbles still going on. As you can see, it's cleared as far as bubbles. And uh, you can definitely see the change in the color in the acid itself. It's, you can see the gold in there. I'm going to take the basket out of here, and you can see everything is not gold like it once was. It's, uh, you'll see here when I rinse it even better. I'll let the acid drip out of our basket here. This is going to be. When you get this wrench, you're going to see this is all copper. The gold has all been stripped off. That'll do it. And I've got a big stainless steel bowl here with a couple liters of water. Just going to rinse this off. In here. A little shake. I just want to get any of the gold off that's still on it. Powder that sticks to it. Let's see if we can get the light right here, but that's... See, it's the same color as the basket now. It's not gold anymore. Not tough with the shine on it, but it's... To the naked eye, you can see that that's all copper now. And all the gold is... Back in our cell in the liquid. got a plastic bowl here full of water that all the old stuff I've already stripped you can see it's all copper in there all the gold's been taken off Take all the pieces out of here and an empty basket everything's in there and rinse and repeat and that's how the gold stripping cell with the sulfuric acid. That's the basic setup and how it works.